Skoda's electric future might seem to have been a little bit overshadowed by the might of the Volkswagen ID range that's coming out soon. But no more, because here we have got the Skoda Vision IV concept, and it gives us the clearest look yet at the electric future for the Czech brand. And I think you will agree that that future looks pretty spectacular. Here we are driving the Skoda IV um, concept car. Now driving a concept car is always a bizarre experience anyway, but I have to say this really does feel it's really special inside, particularly all these interior materials and this kind of thing. I hate to say it, but it reminds me a little bit of Volvo. There's a bit of the kind of the sort of pale wood and the crystal and all this kind of thing. There's definitely a little bit reminiscent of that. This car will have an 84 kilowatt hour battery and that is going to give it a claimed WLTP range of 310 miles, which is pretty good. And very excitingly, Skoda has said that this car is going to be offered with two versions, four wheel drive and a rear wheel drive version, which will be the first rear wheel drive Skoda that has actually come out underneath Volkswagen's ownership. And bear in mind, this is a 301 brake horsepower car, certainly when it's got twin electric motors anyway. So it could actually be really exciting to drive. I'll be brutally honest, there's no way I'm going to tell anything about how exciting its production version is going to be by driving the concept car around a car park. But I mean, how cool is this? This car looks absolutely spectacular. And apparently it's as much as 85 to 90% representative of what the production car will look like, which is brilliant because we're actually beginning to see a trend of concept cars actually really giving us a good idea of what the production car is going to look like. Now we're going to see this car come out in 2021. Production is slated for 2020, sort of mid 2020. And this is also going to be one of a new generation of electric cars that are going to make electric power really attainable. Skoda is a brand that specializes in being affordable to the everyday person. And this is something that the company's designer has just been telling me about is that although this car has got all this beautiful detailing, I really love all the sort of uh, the vents down here and the single structural vent across the dash. It all looks really minimalist and beautiful. But, he says, at the core of this is always that they must build a car which is affordable. And for that reason, I suspect you won't see the uh, camera wing mirrors, which are an expensive technology. Of course, we have got it already on the e-tron, but I think, I think you're unlikely to see it on the Skoda for the foreseeable, even as an option. Other than that, though, they do actually think that this really lovely screen sort of set high up on the dash, like I said, that single vent across the, across the dash as well, that structure, I think you actually will see that make it into production. Don't forget that this car is actually, it's got a wheelbase roughly the same as the Kodiak. So it's quite a long wheelbase, but I have to say from the concept, because the roof is very low, it doesn't look as big as a Kodiak at all. It's rumored that the coupe version of the IV will actually come out first, but that has not been confirmed and the company tends to be a bit tight-lipped about it. So we'll see. There will be a very functional sort of SUV version. Um, not dissimilar to the Kodiak in size and intentions, other than the electric powertrain, um, as well as the coupe version, which would be the sportier one. And it'll be really interesting to see if they offer the four wheel drive and rear wheel drive versions on both of those. Now, whether Skoda will offer a variety of battery sizes is as yet unconfirmed. They will not give me an answer on that, even though I have asked. I think they probably will, because of course Skoda needs to make this car affordable, as I've said. And we know that the MEB platform is capable of taking a variety of battery sizes, which are already existent in the group. So we're going to see it in the Volkswagen ID range and all of that stuff. So I reckon, uh, I reckon you will see it, but I suspect it might launch initially with this bigger battery capacity of 83 kilowatt hour. That is all speculation, but you know, we will see what happens. Certainly, I think this car looks absolutely wonderful on the outside and the inside and it seems to represent more than just the electric future for Skoda it also really shows a shift in design and ambition to be really desirable as well as attainable and you know useful to the everyday person the common sense car but actually also really aspirational so if they can achieve that then I think this is going to be a real watershed car for the company and uh, having a go in it is really something very special <laughs>